child of God, the Lord sent me to warn you. I literally just woke up, put my jacket on, and here I go. Thus said the Lord. You're in a season of a breaking. Many of you, this is confirmation for you. So just type confirmation. And because you're in this season of breaking, the enemy is like a roaring lion. I see them trying to fire arrows of perpetual sickness. I saw the Grim Reaper with a shovel trying to dig a hole. But I decree and I declare that every hole they dig, they fall in it. Somebody type that. You have to be patient in this season, child of God. It's a very strategic season. You have to find strategies. Type every hole they dig for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Every hole they dig for you in the mighty name of Jesus. They dig in it. We cancel debt. We cancel death, we cancel sickness and every infirmity aside from the kingdom of darkness. Every insanity spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There are a lot of people who are very displeased with what God is doing in your life this season. I saw a witch and she has a bag. This bag look like a cloth made what we call crocus bag. And she's trying to gather things steal things into that bag as i repent and i consecrate myself i come in alignment with the will of god in my life under the covenant of the blood and i said the scripture that says what is due unto caesar to give unto caesar and i decree and i declare and i come in agreement with anyone who is willing to stand in agreement this morning and i say we are the caesars of our destiny we are the Caesars of our lives. And I send that scripture to fight the thief. To fight the thief. Simon, Simon. Satan desires to sift you like wheat. But I pray for you. Jebonde Koton, Jebonde Koton. Mighty God, as I pray in this hour, Jebonde Koton, Rebok Nakata. I decree that every thief trying to gather gather things that they did not sow jebonde kotonia ndi kutunya kutululo buchiye koto rebo nakatala la baba buchiya kutululo buchiya the judgment of god do keep them without mercy without mercy vengeance and the judgment the punishment of god the wrath of god beat them a drop a atomic bomb in the camp in Jesus mighty precious name I send Isaiah 62 to fight them Rebonde kotonde arababoshia Psalms 91 to fight them Rekutututututua Rebonde koton In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth Child of God In this season The Lord says to stay prayed up It is a season where you can The covering of the Lord. Too many is at stake. Too many important stuff in your destiny is at stake. I also saw this female dressed in a white wig and a black eyeglass. It simply means there are enemies in disguise. But I send Psalms 35 to expose him. Rebonde koton, rebok nakata. Mighty God, I decree every hidden enemy, every friendly enemy be exposed. Come on, somebody have to learn to get in alignment. Don't just hear prayer. Prayer doesn't matter where you are. It is so powerful in the realms. All you need to do is connect, black out everything your mind will tell you and just connect and watch God work. Faith is a substance of things hoped for but the evidence of things not seen. Jebonde Koton apply faith to your circumstances and not fear. Not what it looks like but faith and faith alters what it looks like. Mabonde Koton Shiata and I speak into our lives that every arrow from the pit of hell, every gun pointing at us, every person pointing at a gun, every sickness they've tried to apply, every insanity, every single satanic arrow I speak to the north, the south, the east, the west, every dimension, every realm, 
Rebonde koton da bababo shiata. And I decree it is canceled. Canceled. Canceled in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every assignment of the adversary against all lives is canceled. Somebody type, Amen. Please be mindful, child of God. What the enemy does, they don't like what the Lord is doing. And you have a lot of church people too involved in this, not just sinners. And everyone wants to be a prophet suddenly. But no one wants to go to the suffering that makes you a true prophet. So they're trying to steal and work witchcraft and do a lot of satanic manipulation for it's not of God. Yesterday I met a driver and the driver said unto me, you know, you have a lot of people in church that are Christians, but that are saved Christians, but aren't living right. And I told him, there's no such thing as a saved Christian not living right. He is either a believer or a Christian. Now, a believer ain't always saved. There's a formula for being saved. It comes with challenges, sacrifices, pain, tears, good, bad, indifferent. And the Bible tells you how to walk. Now sinners are believers too. A lot of sinners believe in Christ. Pray. But they're not saved. And that is where many people get it twisted. They believe because they're baptized. They're saved. They're not saved. They're baptized. Being saved is a lifelong journey. That you put effort into maintaining. Because it's a warfare. And in this light, I bind every arrow of backsliding that they try to fire after us. And I decree, go back to the sender. 747, every spirit of backsliding, every thief, every wickedness shall be rewarded in this season. In Jesus' name. In this light, child of God, I speak into your life. I pray the Lord give us strength in the mighty name of Jesus to endure and walk the good walk. And finish the race in the pleasing of the Lord. Where he can say well done. For that is the aim. That is the aim. That is the aim. Be blessed child of God. I see these prayers in the blood of the Lamb. In the right hand of the most high God. Where no man, no devil, no demon can snatch it. In Jesus name I pray. In the name of Jesus I pray. Amen, amen and amen. Sila, I bless you.